All right. If you were uh, with me on Monday for Prayers to the Moon, then you'll know that I pulled out a book and I used it as inspiration. But then I took it too far with the, you know, the little attaching lines and kind of wrecked it. Uh, so I want to, um, that was day 94. It counted, even though I didn't love what I created. Uh, so for day 95, I'm going to do it again. Um, and see if I can like stop, um, in time kind of thing. So I'm not going to duplicate this. I'm just going to do, uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to play, I'm going to keep it light and playful, um, but following the same sort of instructions, which are basically to pick a couple of colors, do some watercolor mark making, and then go in and embellish with paint markers. So that's easy enough. So let's get into it. I'm really into uh, mindless kind of mark making these days because of how soothing it is for my nervous system. Um, I'm just, I'm really into anything that makes me feel kind of calm and um, centered. Uh, I'm just really enjoying that kind of thing right now. So uh, I'm you know, letting delight lead me at this point, at this juncture. All right, so I have a couple of cups of water here. Um, got another one that's totally clean. I am loving the colors that I worked with yesterday. So I'm gonna work with those again. And I'm not gonna bother with the grid because I found the grid a little bit too limiting. I didn't love what I ended up with as a result of using the grid. So basically when I did this, I, uh, you know, cut the paper in thirds. But I'm not going to do that for this. I'm going to keep it really organic. Uh, and that my friends is how you create in your own style. You, you know, you do a thing and you decide what you like about it. I'm just going to move this stuff over here. It makes more sense to work over here since my palette is here. You can see here I'm just grabbing some of the colors and I'm throwing them down on the palette.
let that dry. All right, let's get into just some simple doodle stuff. I've got the, a basic sort of doodling kit in this little cube over here, but I don't know where anything is yet. Okay, white pen, black pen, vision pen, gold pen, uh, and then a really super fine 0.35 pen. Let's start with the black.
That I did not go too far. I may not have gone far enough, in fact, but um, for me, for this experience, uh, for this experiment, not too far is way better, or not far enough, excuse me, is way better than too far. So there are parts of this I love, there are parts of this I'm not crazy about. I don't love my boomerangs there. I don't know what those are. They're kind of like worms or something, but I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the uh, restraint that I showed uh, in creating this. That made me happy. So I think, I always kind of like these the way that I make them. Like I feel like that's the orientation there. So day 95. Out of a hundred, and for those of you who are keeping track, this is day 37 of my sober journey. Finding again, finding the not drinking quite easy, finding the what the hell do I do with myself when I'm not drinking a little bit challenging, but uh, it's going well. I just want to have a little something, something here. It's running out. So yeah, I'm especially attracted right now to anything abstract, uh, super organic, nothing. It's almost like I need to uh, not think overly much about what things mean. Right now, that is definitely where my brain is at. Like, it doesn't matter what it means. It doesn't matter if it means anything. There's just a, like a desire and a uh, craving to flow in the journal without, um, a, again, assigning meaning. Like that's, it's not at all where I'm at. So I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of watercolor paint in those leaves, just from what was on my palette. And then that little final touch is it. That's all she wrote for this one. I mean, I guess I could um, black gesso over whatever I don't like. So like I could black gesso over that strip and do something else in there. But that feels like taking the experiment too far um, for today anyway. I may do that tomorrow just to see how it looks because again I'm not attached to these. They're not, um, this is an experiment not 
this bottom half down here I adore and this part here I adore and this part here oh, the temptation man. I know what I could do too no stepping away stepping away if I really want to do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow. But for today, we're stepping away. We're letting this be it. Thank you so much for joining me in this final stretch of my 100 days that lasted over 200. See you tomorrow. Bye.